All right, my name is uh, Joe Tin. Um, I'm a founder and a CEO of the Collective Digital Advertising Agency. And Joe, what does um, the Collective do? Uh, well, uh, we provide um, advertising services uh, for our clients, um, looking, through, looking at it from a perspective of delivering a communication strategy. And once we, we have a communication strategy, we primarily uh, work on delivering that through digital, uh, digital communications and digital media. So that includes uh, websites, that includes uh, online media, and includes social media management as well. One of the issues we were talking about is actually how many people are online in Kenya. Run me through the numbers and what's wrong with the numbers and how we get to a better number. Yes, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of the biggest and most frustrating things that uh, we face as uh, people in the digital communication field um, in Kenya, and I'll tell you why. It's because we don't have any consistent numbers. When you, have, when you look at the numbers coming through from the communications authority and you look at the methodology that they use to, uh, to measure, you find that that number is greatly uh, exaggerated. It's, in fact, it's about 80% of the population. They say 80, 80, um, 80 to 87% of the 30, population. 38 million or something. Yes, yeah, it's absolutely, yeah. Um, it's absolutely exaggerated if you took that number as, a, as an exact figure. Um, and uh, when you look at the numbers coming through from the research, from some of the research that's conducted, it's, uh, it's way too low. Mm. So uh, to get numbers that are focused on delivering uh, the number of audiences that are online, using online consistently, um, and, and doing research that is much more focused on, um, rather than looking at all the other mediums, television, mm. radio, and then including online, it needs to be focused more on online in order to give us the real numbers. And you've but come up with a number, haven't you? I've come up with a number, and I used the, the number that I used is more about ability to access rather than usage. Mm. So, but it gives us an opportunity to understand what the um, entire potential is. The number right now, when you look at uh, Safaricom's uh, data uh, subscribers, and you look at uh, Airtel's data subscribers, those are the two largest uh, mm. mobile networks, you find that the number comes to 21 million with the ability to access uh, data. Mm. Now, how often they use, it, they use it and what the usage uh, numbers look like is something that's uh, still, you know, still out there, the jury's still out there on that, but it shows you that the potential at this point in time is 21 million. Mm. 21 million uh, as a media is only second to radio. Yeah. And radio at the moment is that 22 million right. people who are accessing radio on a regular basis aged between 15 or aged 15 years and above. But if we take particular chunks of that, what's the number of smartphones? Number of smartphones at this point in time I think is, um, is estimated at about 9.5 million. Yeah. So which would mean that you're looking at out of everybody who's got a data connection, you'd have about 40% or so yeah. with a smartphone. And. How many people are on Facebook? Because that's another kind of metric that gives yes. us a... I think at this point in time, um, I'd need to look at the numbers specifically, but I think we have 5 million people uh, in Kenya who are on Facebook. Okay, so that gives us some metrics, but not... Yes, it gives us some metrics, but not the whole, the whole yeah. picture, because we know there's more people using uh, WhatsApp uh, rather than Facebook. And yeah. WhatsApp is a much more private social media than yeah. uh, Facebook, which so is... So what are the WhatsApp open. numbers that you... Well, um, at this point in time, I don't have any numbers on, on okay. WhatsApp. Those are some of the things that we're currently uh, currently looking okay. to, to, to achieve. And who is likely to produce these numbers? Well, um, the research agencies. Yeah. Um, if we had the research agencies such as Ipsos or TNS or Cantor Media, um, I think they've got an opportunity to actually do very specific um, social media and online media um, you know, numbers. And, uh, and away from perhaps the, the usual you know, audience foundation uh, mm. data, which is highly skewed towards uh, radio, television, and print. Um, it needs to be, I think, separate so mm. that we can then be able to get, boost the numbers mm. where we need to in the cities, um, you know, and, um, and then have a very comprehensive review in terms of what rural usage looks like.